Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Creating Powerful Impact. I'm your host, Shay Wheat, founder of Grace and Ease Productions, where we support entrepreneurs just like you with event-based marketing and sales strategies, allowing you to build your authority, your credibility, and your visibility in your industry. And today's guest has over 20 years of performance coaching and sales experience, the amazing, the gorgeous, the phenomenal Hillary De Caesar. You guys listen, she has built four multi-million dollar businesses following her success of raising, I'm already getting goosebumps, $250 million for a Silicon Valley tech giant earned the prestigious ranking of top sales producer worldwide. She's well known in for her international best-selling book, Relaunch, Spark Your Heart to Ignite Your Life. And get this, it was recently included as a favor in the 2023 Grammy gift bag. She knows what she's talking about. She's been on so many hit television programs, including The Secret Millionaire. She's the founder of The Relaunch Company, and she helps entrepreneurial women simultaneously scale up their professional and their personal lives with the proprietary 3HQ formula, relaunching the way women-owned businesses are run. Please help me welcome Hillary to the Creating Powerful Impact stage. How are you? Shay, you need to be on a bigger stage because you're really solid. Thank you. I'm going to start using that intro wherever I go. <laughs> Feel free. Go ahead and let's crop it out. You know, just there. Go. That was, that was great. Walk up song. Go. <laughs> I'm literally smiling ear to ear. That was just so like, woo. Okay. Wow. Right? I, but I mean, you've done some crazy, awesome things um, and you were creating massive impact in the world. I want to hear about what it is that you're doing now, especially what is this whole 3HQ thing and how can we start utilizing it in our businesses and in our lives? Well, I, you know what, when you think about business today and there are more entrepreneurs, whether you're coming out of corporate like I did or whether mm -hmm. you're, you're just trying to like, you know, do the next great thing to impact and inspire and create that incredible company that you know is deep inside of you or that you want to scale where you are right now. We always think about, you gotta have the steps. You know, there's how many different coaches out there, how many different course creators, how many different programs. And they always say, oh, you know, this is the million dollar formula and do these steps and you'll become, you know, that seven figure business owner. And here's the honest to God truth that if that were true, we would have all of these millionaires, all of these, you know, why is there only one to 2% of women led companies that are actually hitting that seven figure because it doesn't work that way. And I think throughout the, the course of all of the 20 plus years of coaching for really peak performance in the business world, it's not about, sure, the, the key parts of running your business are critical, no doubt, but that's not where I see success comes from. Mm -hmm. And so what I did when I wrote the book, um, Relaunch, Spark Your Heart to Ignite Your Life, and it was really based around right before COVID, my mom uh, got cancer in mm -hmm. stage four, and in 14 months she had passed. And my identity, as a as Hillary, as a woman, was that my grandma lived to 105, great grandmother 106, great great grandmother 101. I mean, I'm literally living my life like I got I got half more to go. I'm like not even halfway there. And all of a sudden my mom gets sick and then passes and it was shattering to me. Like what happened? And I often talk about men going through midlife crises, but women don't have time for it, right? We have no time for a midlife crisis that would take us away from all the other thousand things that we have on our to-do list. We have identity crises. And when our businesses aren't where we thought they would be, we beat ourselves up, a lot of self-sabotage. And I realized that as I was doing all the research, 
there's always been a continuum when I coach people and it's around this principle of 3HQ and it's a framework, but it's not the traditional step one, step two, step three framework. It talks about HQ being your headquarters of you, just like your business has, you know, this headquarters, but the divisions and the departments are the head, heart, highest self. Mm -hmm. And those are the three most important. And guess what? Your business also has those departments, those divisions. And so when you can start operating from that, you are the CEO of yourself and that you have in the head component, you got your thoughts, good and bad. You've got your identity, your identity today. And sometimes people have the identity of where they want to go, but they keep them very separate. And that's one of the, one of the downfalls there. You got to merge them together, really make them, you know, be cohesive. And then you start thinking about the empowering belief systems that you have that are really solid. They're like your characteristics, you're like what's going on? Like you really are solid there. But then you move into the heart section of 3HQ and the heart is where you have that why, that passion, but we also have emotional blocks there. Mm -hmm. Emotional blocks that could have been created in past jobs, past relationships, past, you know, encounters with people in your life's journey and they come back and I call them your bugs, your beliefs underground surfacing. And they always come back at the most inopportune times. Things are going great for your business. Your quarter has been like the best you've ever had. And you're like starting to plan for the next quarter and you're investing in it. And then it just crashes and you're like, what the heck just happened? It would be your bugs, those darn pesty bugs. So you've got your heart. And you also have in your heart this concept that I, I, I call, you know, we have these, these emotions around us that are there. The, the, I really don't like who I am right now. I don't like where I am. I'm struggling. Those types of like, what's going on? You beat yourself up. But there are gurus out there that are like, love your life, love your business, love, 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 love. And I know for myself, the concept of relaunch, and I've had, you know, upwards of 34 very, very significant relaunches from divorce to melanoma to losing mom to losing my dad to cousins overdosing, grandparents being killed in a horrific car crash, just really intense ones, business board members that did a Ponzi scheme with one of my companies who ended up in federal prison. We're talking like big ones, okay? Yeah. You don't have to have all the big ones to say that you've been through relaunches because we all go through relaunches all the time. We're all going through global relaunches right now with all the crisis that's happening. But when you think about that, instead of trying to, you know, be like evil Knievel and jump over the canyon from, I don't like where I am to loving it. I say, go to like first. So go from, I'm not really happy where I am. I'm going to go with like first and then I'll get to love eventually. Mm -hmm. I help people do that. And then the highest self part, Shay, is, is by far the most incredible. And that is where you energetically, everything is energy, your emotions are energy. But what's important is people don't know how to access the higher level of energy. And that has always been challenging. Like, how do you do it? Sure, I understand the basic principles that I need to be elevated in order to have great things manifest in my life. But how do you call on it all the time. How do you call on it when relaunches are bringing you down? Mm -hmm. So uh, hopefully I'm going to get a chance to share the fastest, quickest solution, but also in the highest self, you have your G zone and your G zone is where you experience your own growth, your business's growth. You have that gratitude of like, wow, I never thought it could be so good. And then you also have the point where you are in your great zone. You're operating, you're feeling it. You're like, I'm in my jam. Like, I'm so good. And so when you combine all of these together, head, heart, highest self, I'm not saying that you're going to stay in that highest self nirvana state because relaunches will happen. But what I am saying is the framework allows you to bounce into whatever you need, relaunch into whatever you need to be accessing higher level of energy Mm -hmm. at any time so that you can, law of resonance, 
resonate with what you're trying to pull into your business, your personal life, because that's the key when you can understand that if you are at a low level trying to create awesome events, right, which is what you do. And you're going through some really hard times and you're feeling like, you know, I get knocked down and you're having a tough time getting back up again. You're doing it, but mm -hmm. you're still bringing in that level of energy. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, what you're going to be attracting is the lower energy. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I help people figure out very quickly, four-step process I call the tune in power tool to get you out of that lower state. Oh my gosh, so many things to unpack in there. I love the framework part of it because that helps our brain piece go, okay, these are the boundaries I get to play within and it gives me some stepping stones. But would you say, because what I've seen is, you know, when you're starting out in business, your job is just to get clients, get them crazy awesome results. And you start to build it and you get to like six figures, multiple six, and then, you know, you can go on to seven and so on. But it's a different mountain to climb through that whole ascension, so to speak. What you're saying is you take the three HQ each time you're ascending, each time you have a reinvention, a relaunch, each time it's like it supports you in then vibrating at that higher level or that next level for you. Is that what I'm hearing? It's exactly because we have gates. Mm -hmm. We have gates that we take our business through. And usually the first gate is when you hit six figures. Oh my gosh, I finally hit the 100K mark. But then you hit another at 250, 250,000. Yeah. Then half a million, there's another gate. Then there's the big seven figure million. Then there's one at 2.5 million. Then there's one at 10 million. Then there's another at 50 million, 100 million, you know, going all the way up. And lucky me, I've, I've had an opportunity to work with people that are just starting out, but also selling their businesses for 250 million. Mm -hmm. And what I have found the framework 3HQ works at any stage, but we have to realize that in order to have it really become this valuable framework and an asset for you, so that it's not like you're overwhelmed, like, oh my gosh, my business really has to change right now in mm -hmm. order to go past. It. And if you have a coach that, you know, can help you through it, it's hugely important because a lot of times people do get past the first gate, even the second gate, and then they, then they have that slowdown. It was those darn bugs that I was talking about beliefs yeah. underground surfacing. And unless you deal with them, you will have so much frustration in your business. You know, we only have the ability with, you know, our, our time is, Absolutely, there is a certain amount of time we all have, mm -hmm. but our energy is really infinite. We create the level of energy that we bring into our business. And what I have found is that people will start to have, you know, they're all, everyone's fired up when you have great success, but it's bringing yourself out of the, you know, the doubt, the, oh my gosh, I'm now spending more to get to a higher level in my business. Mm -hmm. And unless you have something to fall back on where you're like, okay, I got this. I'm gonna go right back into my 3HQ. I'm gonna go through the processes again. And it's not like you're a one and done. You go through, oh, I got the head, okay. We have things that will trigger different things in our life, right? Mm -hmm. You may feel very confident getting on a stage where you're talking to 50 people, right? And then all of a sudden you're like, okay, well now I'm growing and I'm scaling and now I'm a hundred or 500 or a thousand or what about 10,000? And you're like, oh my God, I'm a total disaster. I'm a mess. I can't remember a single thing that I'm supposed to be saying, well, what's going on? It's again, in order to be visible and really put yourself out there as the, I call it the CEO, the chief energy officer mm -hmm. of your business, you need to be constantly aware of where you are in the 3HQ framework. And a lot of times we're in our heads. We're all caught up in like the negatives. A lot of times we're tuning out because it's just too much. Oh my God, I can't take this anymore. I'm just gonna compartmentalize. I'm just gonna do this right now. And what I want people to realize is, you know, even like 
the Buddhas of the world, even Gandhi, even Mother Teresa, it is, there is a point where relaunches are going to happen. They're going to cause you to fall back into the headiness of your head. They're going to fall back into, oh my gosh, you know, you're, you're at a shame or a blame or doing something that you're like, oh my gosh, this is a total, I'm in such fear that I'm going to fail yet again. Mm -hmm. This is, this just gives you, it's like that sanity of, oh my gosh, this is what's happening. And there's so much neuroscience. I've been studying neuroscience for over 10 years. I have a psychology degree and I never really had an opportunity when I worked at Oracle, when I worked in a lot of my beginning companies to understand that because for so many of us, we're just, it's logical based, just do, 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 you know, make sure you get everything done. And what's the next, you know, task on my list. Mm -hmm. This is when you start to work on your business. You start to think about strategically owning yourself because then you can be invisible first, understanding there's so much going on between the ears that is keeping you at a lower level in your business. Mm -hmm. And that's when you can visibly see the successes start to show up. That's true manifestation. Yeah. Yes. Well, and I like that we've got the energetic side of it coming into it because we're all going to get knocked down. We're all going to have something show up. We're going to have the bugs, what have you. And I think it's the difference uh, between having it happen, knowing it's going to happen something and how long you stay there. Right. right? And is it taking you out for a quarter, two quarters, you know, a year where you end up just turning off the energetic, you know, sign on your forehead that says, don't do business with me right now because I've got so much happening in my brain and I got knocked down and I can't seem to figure out how to get out of it. Versus if you have the framework and the tools within the framework to go, got it, it's happening, feel it, move into it, use my tools, get out of it, right? Well, and here's the thing, and I, I'm the first to say, you know, there are a lot of the relaunches I went through that completely sucked. I mean, yeah. it was just, it was awful. And yet I was still able to run my business. Mm -hmm. I was still able to make, and I wasn't, and here's the most important part. I wasn't saying, okay, I'm just not going to think about what just happened. No, on the contrary, what I'm doing is I'm saying, all right, I have an appointment right now. I have like your show that I'm getting on right now. I am going to elevate my energy, this energy on demand so that I can have growth on demand, right? Whatever I'm trying to do on this, you know, exact moment in time, it could be creating an email. It could be, you know, anything in your business, creating the best financial budget. It could be whatever you're looking for. But I know that there's a, I'm doing it for a minimum amount of time. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to just say, I'm going to be at this high level of energy all day long, but I can tune in at any moment when I need it. Mm -hmm. When I'm like, okay, Hillary, it's go time. It is tune in time. I'm on the launch pad and like flaming out right now, not an option. Yeah. So what am I going to do? And that's when I use the tune in power tool. And it's literally four easy steps. And it's something that, you know, I love all these, all these groups out there are like, get certified in this and that, and you know, I'm gonna, you're gonna get this. And I'm like, okay, everybody, you can become a master at the tune in process, literally today. This is, you know, I always say that- Let's the do simplest, it. <laughs> yeah, the simplest things are the best things. That's what really works. That's what you'll do. So yes, Shay, can I take you through? Are you willing to like be coached a little here through this process? Let's do it. I'm a little okay. afraid, but let's do it. Okay. I love it. So again, this is the tune in process and you know, you've already understood that everything is energy. Emotions have an energy. So no matter where you are and Hey, if you are like awesome right now, excellent. Let's like even make you even more crazy. Awesome. If you have like intense joy in your life. Awesome. Let's just keep going with that. But if you're on the flip side, feeling overwhelmed, underwhelmed, or you have a challenge that's going on that you haven't been able to consciously get through, or you're just stalled out, this is for you. So step one is all in the head, 
3HQ. So this is the easiest way to really explain 3HQ. It's all in the head. What is a challenge, Shay, that you're going through right now in your business? Uh, growing the team. Okay. So growing the team. So I want you to think about, like Albert Einstein said, you can't solve a problem at the conscious level it was created. So if we just try to keep like, what, how am I going to grow this team? How am I going to get a team that's going to be able to scale with me as I'm looking at my future identity of myself and my business? How am I going to be able to do that? Well, I don't want you to be thinking about it at the level you're at right now because you don't currently have it. I need to elevate you so that you're bringing in like the A team. These are the people, or even having people that are working for you elevate up to the A team. Okay. Love it. So that's step one. Step two is where we change the channel. And how do we change the channel from being at the level you're at right now to a higher station, to a higher level? We change the channel by tuning in to what I call your power song. And this is a song that you, when you hear it, it lights you up. You can't be at a low vibrational level when you're hearing it. What is the song that truly lights you up? Uh, I love pink. So let's go with uh, Just Like Fire. Okay, Just Like Fire. So now we're on a show right now, so you can't play it out loud or they would shut the show down, but you can hear it in your mind right? You can play it in your mind, take it from your head to your toes, moving your body, changing your state, Mm -hmm. changing your state you're hearing. I want you to turn it up, Shay, in your mind. When you're not on a show like yours, you can play it out loud, get up, dance around, but you have to do it for 20 seconds. Neuroscience, changing the state. It takes 20 seconds with song, with music. This is all scientifically proven. So right now I've already seen you're starting to tune in. You're already starting to, you know, just like fire. Oh gosh, you are like, you're so cute. I don't know if your show is like on everywhere, but people, if you can watch this, do it. She is fabulous. She's dancing. She's doing it. She's moving. So now as we're going into step three and step two was literally what you're doing is going into the highest self, three HQ, head, Mm -hmm. heart, highest self, highest self, you popped yourself right into that. Now we're gonna go into the heart. And the heart is where you are going to create a mini movie in your mind, and you are the star. You are already with creating a perfect team for you, growing that team to scale, to hit the numbers, to cross the gates that you want to pass. You're already seeing yourself with this. You're already emotionally charging up this image. Again, you are the star of this movie. There is a color associated with either what you're wearing as you're seeing it and you're tuning back into your song, back into the song, all just like fire, boom, you are doing it, you're moving your body and you are either wearing the color, seeing the color. What color are you seeing right now? Uh, It's my green my green mm-hmm. there's a specific <laughs> color of green that I yeah, wear. that is like you that love is, this green yes i love that green. okay here's what i want you to do i don't want you to just one x that green color i want you to intensify it five x the emotion the color you in this movie already having this just dream team a team they're growing with you you're like ah uh, wow you're not just believing it it's happening like believe it is done okay so now as we're doing this you're going to take like every great movie has a great billboard right times square baby this is this is your chance so what i want you to do is i am going to say the word click and you're going to take an internal picture of this image of you on stage with your green feeling this way and when i say click you're going to open and close your eyes taking that internal picture click 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 you now have three pictures pick one which one are you going to put on the billboard the middle one the second okay number two so that is now that image that represents everything you're going for 
So now we go into step four and we're back in the head. This is the micro action. We tune back into our song, back into the whole just like fire. And this is where success likes speed. Mm. We do not wait. Mm -hmm. So what I want you to do right now is tune back into your song and think, what could you do today after this show that would allow you to take a micro action towards that image that you just took? What could you do? Mm -hmm. I love she's got her eyes shut. She's bopping around. So good. What could you do? What would be one small micro action? It would be reaching out uh, to one of my contacts that um, has some team members that they've just interviewed, but wasn't necessarily a good fit for them, but might be a good fit for us. Brilliant. So you have this person's name. So you're going to reach out. And again, one small action. Now, imagine you do the tune in process three times a day hmm. around this specific hmm. goal. That's three micro actions. If you did that five days in a row, that's 15. This is how things manifest. This is how results get done. Outcomes happen, right? So what I want you to realize is now you have a song attached to this specific outcome. So every time you're about to do something around this, even down in the future, when you're interviewing the people, you're going to put on the calendar two minutes before you're going to tune in. You're going to elevate yourself. You're going to get into that because you're getting clarity of what you're going for, mm -hmm. right? The mm -hmm. clarity of like, this is what I want to attract. This is the level of energy. And you can keep adding more pictures to that step three. But what I love is that I get asked this all the time. Well, this was just one thing, but I also want to, when I said a challenge, sometimes challenges are positive too. Mm -hmm. and so I look at coming on your show. And so I tuned in right before I started to you know, enter in. And I thought, what is, what is, what am I really going for? And I envisioned what was the micro action, micro action. If I can like resonate with one person, like, Hey, light them, light them up, have them start using tune in. Mm. That's what I'm going for. So I have my go-to song for this. So you might have five go-to songs. One is around your team. Another one might be, might be around, you know, the, the stage, the stages, the, the events that you're putting together mm -hmm. that you're like, I want this to be the greatest event for this person that I am planning this for. Right. Another one might be around when you're working on your actual strategy around your business. So do you see, you can do this. And again, it doesn't have to just be in the mind, but a lot of times you might not have a chance to go and play it out loud and stand up and move your body, but you can always do this while you're sitting. You can yeah. always do this at any time during the day. I tune in at a minimum of 10 times a day. I mean, yeah. why not? It just pumps me up. It like elevates me mm -hmm. so that I know law of resonance again, that whatever I'm trying to do, I don't want to attract people that aren't willing to go to their peak performance. Yeah. That's not who I work with. I work with people that are like, I need that. Like this, this is what I'm missing. This is what's been the neuroscience block. You know, you talk about habit creation. I literally have said this. This is the tune in power tool is the greatest, greatest peak performance habit based tool I have ever heard about or used. So for me, I'm like shouting it on the mountaintops. Like I'm that person with my hands up and I'm like, yes, you got to do this because I have seen not only the results for myself, but literally thousands of people with like miraculous results. That's amazing. Uh, one, thank you for walking us all through that. You were uh, so great. Two, how in the world can people experience this with you? What is the best way for them to connect with you? Uh, do you have a gift for our audience? Like, how can they get more of you? 
This is awesome. So first and foremost, before we get off of this, I want you as part of that step four, when you have reached out to this person today, DM me and just say, done. All right, I am big on accountability. So now for everyone else who's like, oh, like I really like that, I'm, I'm driving, I'm listening, I haven't been able to write all this down. I have a place that you can go that will list it all out. It gives you everything that you need. There's a video and it is tuneinpowertool.com, tuneinpowertool.com. And it will give you everything we just talked about and more and the science behind it. And it also gives you examples of what you can be using it for in ways that you haven't even thought about. Beautiful. So we will have that link in the show notes. Love it. Love it. Last question for you. What is a takeaway or memorable note that you would like to leave our audience with today? So there is a lot of different paths you can take. Mm -hmm. And my biggest suggestion, again, after doing this for 23 years, is that the more complex you make it, the less likely it will work for you. So keep it simple, tune in, stop tuning out, and see what success really can mean for you. Perfectly said. Thank you so much for being with us here today. And I want to thank our audience for joining us on another episode of Creating Powerful Impact. I'm excited for you to take all of these lessons, all of these resources that you've learned here today, start actually implementing them and create even more impact in your world. Until next time, have an outstanding rest of your day. Take care. Thank you so much for listening to the Creating Powerful Impact podcast. If you are a successful coach, speaker, author, or thought leader who would like to be on this program, simply visit creatingpowerfulimpact.com forward slash guest. If you are someone who got something out of this interview, would you please do me a favor and share this episode on social media? Just do a quick screenshot with your phone and text it to a friend or post it on your socials. Also, if you know somebody that would be a great guest, tag them on social media to let them know about the show and include the hashtag creating powerful impact. I love seeing all of your posts and great guest selections. We are regularly putting out new episodes and content to make sure you don't miss any episodes. Go ahead and subscribe. Your thumbs up ratings and reviews go a long way to help promote the show, and they really mean a lot to me and my team. Want to know more about us? Head on over to our website, graceandeaseproductions.com, or follow me on LinkedIn, Facebook, or Instagram. Just look for Grace and Ease Productions on your favorite platform. Thanks for listening. We'll see you.